Well, here I am outside Ainsco Flour Mill, which was subsequently then owned by a baking company called Allied before it was bought by Persimmon uh, for redevelopment purposes. As recently as 1998, so it, it was a working flour mill up until 1998, and now it's uh, residential property, so it's an industrial site. I thought, therefore, it was apposite to talk to you about a industrial case, uh, uh, one in the field of constructive trusts, and that's IDC and Cooley, which is an authority for the idea of having strict fiduciary duties for directors of companies and causing those directors to account, pursuant to a constructive trust, for any profit they make in breach of a fiduciary obligation towards a company as a director. So the facts briefly stated in IDC and Cooley are this. The director of the company, Mr Cooley, was the managing director of an architect's practice and he was negotiating on behalf of that practice to undertake the redevelopment of a gas works at Letchworth. Uh, and he was negotiating with the Eastern Gas Board to do that. Uh, however, they said to him that they'd only rather contract with the Eastern Gas Board with a single architect. The reasoning doesn't come across as to why in the judgment, but nevertheless, that's what it was. So he, Cooley feigns illness, steps aside, gets released from his obligations as MD of that company, of IDC, uh, and takes a contract in his own name, himself. Of course, IDC hear of this in due course, uh, rather annoyed, and pursue him through the courts. It goes up before Mr Justice Roskill at first instance, and he held that Cooley was accountable as a constructive trustee, and that he should therefore make restitution to the company for the benefit of that contract. So, as an example of a constructive trust case, other than common intention constructive trusts, that's IDC and Cooley. From here, outside Ainsco Mill in Bursco, Latham. From here, I bid you goodbye. Goodbye.